what's up everybody, Tyler from Ten Thumbs. Really excited about this one. We are going to show you how to break down over our John Legend style backing track, right? So this would be in the vein of kind of what a John Legend song might sound like. And we're gonna show you how to look at the chords, which scale to use over it. We'll be showing you two shapes of the E minor pentatonic and how you can bridge them together with uh, slides. And then I'll show you a motif, kind of a lick that you can use and build off. All kinds of cool stuff, dude. And this is the very first time. of 10 thumbs that we are actually doing the whole lesson electrified. Now, that doesn't mean that you need an electric ukulele to play this. Um, I am just doing this so I can run the backing track through my amplifier so you can hear it a little better. But it's still kind of cool because it's the first time we've ever done it. All right? Patreons, you get the MP3 for free. You get the PDFs for free. If you want to be, be a Patreon, little as a dollar a month, it's like a tip jar that just throws goodies in your face. Also, Skype lessons. We do Skype lessons. Um, Give me a good hold of me if you want to be a better ukulele player. But if you came just to jam on this jam track, that's cool. I dig it and I respect it. I want you to grab your ukulele, brain attention span. These are all things you need. Follow me on in and let's do this. All right, everybody. So we're about to break down how to jam. But we're going to be looking at how to jam over all of me. Now, this is a tutorial that we have done already. So if you want to check out all of me, um, the actual song tutorial, learn how to play through it and strum through it. Here's a link, okay? Maybe you know the jam, maybe you don't. We're doing it in the key of E minor. Maybe learning it might help you a little bit. If not, if you just really want to rock and roll, that's cool, I dig it, and I respect it. The very first thing that we need to do in any song that we're jamming is figure out what is the scale that will complement these chord progressions. So what is the scale that I can plug in and navigate to create melody over these um, chords? So to do that, <clears throat> We're going to need our key sheet, and this is all the chords of all the keys, okay? And if we take a look at it, and we're looking at it, we need to try to find the key that has all four of these chords, okay? And the chords of this song are going to be E minor, G major, C major, and D major. So let's take a look and see if we can see which key has all of those chords, okay? I'm going to give you a second. Boom! If you guessed... E minor or G major, G major, then you are correct. Now, E minor and G major are what are called relative minors and majors, meaning the G major pentatonic scale and the E minor pentatonic scale are actually the same notes. So we're going to approach this from the E minor pentatonic point of view, okay? If you want that um, printable PDF, our Patreons, go ahead, dudes, you guys got it, all right? It's included in this lesson, so you can print it out and look at all the chords for all the scales, and you can replicate what we're doing here, really, over any song that you want. Otherwise, if you want to go ahead and download it, you can go over to the 10 and get it for a dollar. There's a link right here, okay? Everything that you put into us, we really appreciate, because we put it right back into our lessons. Now, so we have our scale that we're going to plug in over these chords. We know it's the E minor pentatonic. Well, we're going to need to go ahead and look at some of the shapes that we are going to be playing with today. Real quick, I am amplified. Which is pretty cool, because this is the very first time that I have ever taught a 10 thumbs lesson in running it, our ukulele through an amp. So, after, good golly. 200 ukulele lessons out there for free. Whoa, check them all out. This is the first one we're doing this. So this is kind of a little milestone. We're going to be using this E minor pentatonic shape. Ring finger, second fret of your C string. I'm sorry, pointer finger. Ring finger, fourth fret C string. Pointer finger, third fret E string. Ring finger, fifth fret E string. Pointer finger, second fret. A string, ring finger or pinky, fifth fret of the A string. So that shape from the top looks like this. Alright, now it's worth noting that our E here and our E here, I'm sorry, that's the D note. Our E here is our root note, okay? So that's the tonal center of this scale. You could play around with. Sound kind of complete when you get there. All right. Now we are going to be looking at combining some shapes, which is pretty cool. Our next shape is going to be fourth fret C string, sixth fret C string, fifth fret 
E string, 7th fret E string, 5th fret A string, 7th fret E string. And what we're going to be really focusing on in this particular lesson is how to go and change between these two shapes, all right? That's what I really want to focus on. So you can tell right away, if you look at it from my point of view, the easiest bridge notes are going to be these five notes, right? Because the fifth note of your E and your A string are in both shapes. And I find the easiest way to make a transition from one shape to another is with a nice slide, all right? So what I want to do right now is take our pointer finger, third fret, then ring finger, fifth fret, and slide that ring finger to the seventh fret, pointer finger, fifth fret, slide it up to the seventh fret. slides with slides all right and that's our root up there too that's also an E string but what's really cool is when you start to go a little wild check this out all right mixing those two shapes sounds really nice and it opens up a lot of different varieties now obviously you can learn the rest of your E shapes all the way up the neck and you can continue to switch between other shapes This is a constant ukulele, so that 12th fret, you don't get a lot of sustain. With this ukulele, I can go about to the 10th fret comfortably. 7th fret, really easy. 8, yeah, but 10 is where I kind of draw my limit on this ukulele, alright? You know, I can get some noise out of that if I want to, and if I need to, I will, but I kind of shoot to aim around that 10th fret as the more or less finishing place. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play this backing track and I'm gonna play over it and I'm gonna give you kind of a sense of what this would sound like over the backing track and then I'm gonna break down one of the licks that I'm gonna be using, okay? So we're gonna take a real quick look at this lick over the backing track so you can hear it, get a feel for the timing and then I'm gonna break it down for you. Now the backing track, if you wanna get this backing track, it's $1 at 10thumbspro.com. We have some other backing tracks that also all have lessons with it from the Dorian scale to hammer-ons, all kinds of cool stuff, right? Blues, jamming. Now, Patreons, again, you get this MP3 for free. So, if you're a Patreon and you're thinking about it, a dollar, a dollar, it's like a dollar a month is the minimum and you get in there and you get things like tabs and PDFs and jam tracks, all kinds of cool stuff. So consider it, or if you just want this MP3 to jam with, that's cool, I dig it. You know, that's the whole idea. Go ahead and click on this link. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna hit play on this jam track and let's give it a listen to what we're working with, all right? see I was kind of doing the same motif more or less the same riff just a little different you can add a little spice and variety but let's go ahead and look at the basis of what this lick looks like and you can rock out with it and have some fun with it and change it and make it your own that's the whole idea all right so I'm doing what's called a pre-bend I'm bending before I hit the note and I'm putting my ring finger seventh fret pointer finger fifth fret and I'm bending up plucking it and then I'm coming down then I'm going to go ahead and play that fifth fret all right, ring finger 7th fret, pointer finger 5th fret, ring finger 7th fret. All right, the next lick is going to go, and that is just on the E string, 5, 3, down to our 4th fret, of the C string, up to the 3rd fret of the E string again, a little bend, micro bend, 
and then back to the four. Alright, now everything else was just more or less the same thing because you can maybe do a pull off and a hammer on. So you can add some spice in that change there. And also you can slide from your seven to your five to connect these licks, which sounds nice like this. Alright, so you see that adding that little slide adds some flavor. Now that is the bridge that I'm going to show you to build or to link these two shapes. Now I just go have fun with it. Get this jam track, put it on repeat, jam it over and over again the same way I was doing it. Play with that lick, build upon it, and remember resolution. That's your E note. So anytime you want to take a break, feel free to take a break here or here. Tenthumpspro.com. Hope that helped you. Take care, and until next time. Keep on having fun, all right? All right, you got it. Now you have. that we could bring you this one. This was a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun with these jam tracks. If you want to be a better player, Skype lessons get a hold of me and we can set a time to rock and roll. But also the most important thing is to get this jam track, put it on repeat and just play over and over and over again. All right? Okay, 10 Take care. Peace.